Professor, I think you're muted. Oh, sorry, sorry. Now, can you hear me? Thank you, Justin. Yeah. The thing is that when I start sharing, I can't see the uh, Webex file. And I, I minimize so that you can watch, I mean, see the presentation presentation nicely but okay i i had a question to you what is the similarity and difference between alkene and alkynes in terms of chemical properties anybody want to share your understanding before we move on what is the difference between alkene and alkynes uh, in terms of chemical properties of unsaturation. Anybody? Alkene where the hydrocarbon unsaturated double bond, correct? Carbon-carbon double bond, which make one uh, sigma bond and one pi bond. And in case of alkyne, we have formula CnH twice n minus two. So that means two hydrogen less. As a result, it will have the triple bond. And here the alkyne is a kind of linear st um, structure and it has one sigma bond carbon carbon and other two are unhybridized in P and the pi bond formation. And yeah, so this is the structural similar difference. And the um, in terms of chemical properties, there are so many similarities in uh, like alkene. But here, remember that here it will be some more additional since we have the triple bond. And also, um, in case of alkene, we saw the sigma bond and pi bond. There was the sp2s hybridized. And here, that means uh, the uh, structure orbital had the characteristic sharing is 1s and 2p. So the 33%, 33% like that. But here the sp, so 50% s orbital, 50% p orbital. So as a result, um, uh, due to the higher um, abundance or higher uh, percentage of s orbital this acetylene or alkyne sorry this um, alkyne group of compound having high acidity than the alkene so these are the very important similarity and differences we often ask the question on that so alkynes contain a triple bond their general formula is cnh twice n minus two. Uh, there are two elements of unsaturation for each triple bond. Some reactions resemble the reaction of alkenes like addition and oxidation. Some reactions are specific to alkyne, particularly because of alkynes special, uh, they are linear um, in structure and also um, uh, any, maybe I'm not sure you remember or not when we studied the alkene chapter last semester, we talk about the bond length. So normally with increasing the unsaturation, bond length decreases. So since this is the uh, triple bond, so the bond length is also shorter and acidity is higher. So this kind of properties um, offer alkynes to have some unique or specific type of chemical reactions that is specific for alkynes. Other than that, we have lots of similar the um, uh, reaction like addition, oxidation, like alkenes, okay? So here we have the nomenclature. Same, the find the longest chain containing the triple bond. Chains, uh, you know, in case of uh, alkene, A-N, alkene, E, and alkyne, Y, triple bond. Number the chain starting at the end closest to the triple bond. 
give branches or other substituted a number to locate their position and also you remember if we have a multiple substituents we will use name as a alphabetical order here we go the um, how many we have one two three four so butine or but one i in here y n e and this is also called the terminal alkyne so if the carbon carbon triple bond at the starting point we say this is the terminal alkyne and if the carbon carbon triple bond uh, in between like that you can see this is called the internal alkyne all other functional groups except ether and halide have a higher priority then than alkyne so remember that named as substituted acetylene so here this is the acetylene that means normally the first group of um, alkyne is acetylene this is um, like that So if the, this hydrogen is substituted by the methyl, methyl acetylene, and this will also, the ex, this is the example of terminal alkyne. Next, we have a IOSO group. You know, you remember, um, this is called the IOSO group. So, but this one is one, one, two, three, four, four. So this is IOSO uh, butyl, IOSO butyl, iosopropyl acetylene so this way and this way one is both ioso group one is butyl one is butyl and one is propyl this side propyl and this side butyl so we have to say mm, b comes first alphabetically so ioso butyl ioso propyl acetylene and this is the internal um, alkyne so please, I, I know you need to do, yes, uh, I think yesterday or oh, today, today morning I went to your mass studying and I see so many structure and lots of things. I, I think very soon Dr. Brown is going to pop up all the things. So you have to practice it. So keep focus on the, you know, those type of things that will helpful when you will do your homework. Physical properties of alkyne nonpolar, insoluble in water, soluble in most of the organic solvent. Their boiling points are similar um, to an alkene of same size, less dense than water. Yeah, so they normally uh, uh, floating on the uh, water. Uh, up to four carbons, um, up to four carbons, a gas at room temperature. So fast, I mean, up to four carbons. So, uh, bu yeah so butane they are uh, gas at room temperature you know we use as a this is the kind of um, compound that i mean kind of hydrocarbon that we use for as a motor vehicle and lots of industry and um, vehicle purpose or some other fuel purpose actually commonly called acetylene uh, it is used at welding torches see the industrial use the oxyacetylene flame reaches temperature as high as see here it's so high normally you know uh, this type of high temperature need in the you know in the uh, shipping company who construct big big ship those type of um, company they need to be uh, joined uh, they need to work with lots of iron thing iron is iron needs very high temperature so they use this type of things and they are thermodynamically unstable when it decomposes its elements, it releases this amount of energy per mole. Synthesis of acetylene from coal. So normally, um, if we uh, heat this calcium carbide, actually coke with lime uh, in electric uh, 
furnace to form the calcium carbide. So actually, if you want to get the beginning, um, in my supporting another presentation that I uploaded uh, along with this chapter, you will find the details of this um, synthesis, are also the structural details. If you have a confusion the um, how to hybridize the sigma, you will find in the in that chapter I uploaded also as a supporting material. Then drip water on calcium carb carbide. So first, um, all we can here we have the from the calcium carbide. We need to dip water on. We will find the acetylene. And as a byproduct, we will find the calcium hydroxide. Even we can do the from methane um, to uh, methane to directly. This is kind of um, a reaction that. We do, and I think I also did in a, we also, you, you guys also study during the alkene chapter. And this is the condition of the reaction. Molecular structure of acetylene. I already said to you that this is the SPSP um, high, the sigma bond, and this is the hydrogen S and uh, uh, SP. And th this is kind of uh, bond here. And triple bonded carbon have the sp hybrid orbitals, and sigma bond is formed between the carbons by overlap sp orbitals. We know that. So this is kind of things like that. So these are the sigma bond, and here we go the hydrogen, hydrogen, and here. In case of alkene, we had here only the P unhybridized, but in that case, here also. And that's why this is the triple bond. See? So the carbon hydrogen sigma bond, carbon hydrogen sigma bond, here carbon carbon single sigma bond, and these are the loosely bind pi bond. Bond length, I already said that normally uh, with increasing the unsaturation, bond length want to um, decrease and you can see here alkene for example ethene alkene ethene and uh, ethyne so you need to be uh, remember the things oh sorry yeah and this is the um, acidity just i mentioned in the beginning this is the acidity range and this is because of um, s character we have here uh, the properties and due to this acidity properties um, they can uh, react with uh, soda mine or some other uh, things to produce like as acidity property means like you, for example the inorganic acid the way uh, react with the salt and uh, i mean react with base and produce salt this is a, a same um, here we will see that acetylene how react with the soda mine and produce salt and this is the acidity range if you compare to um, alkene alkene and acetylene so terminal alkyne are um, terminal alkyne are the more acidic than the uh, internal due to higher s character uh, of the sp hybridized carbon why you remember terminal because uh, terminal carbon has the hydrogen here so more s character that's why their acidity is also higher terminal alkynes can be deprotonated quantitatively with a strong base such as sodomite just i mentioned hydroxide and alkoxide bases are not as strong um to uh, deprotonate de the alkyne quantitatively like sodamide, sodamide NaNH2. So here are some example of this um, reaction, the acidic properties of alkyne. This is the unique character here, see here? So uh, here we go, uh, this, this will come here. And so it will broke here and it will like the nucleophile base and then it will add here like that. So, but see here another things, no acetylenic proton here 
reaction doesn't occur. See here? Because this is internal here. So you need to be make sure here. And you can see here the acid dissociation constant value. Though these are the, yeah, but this is not as high, I think so. If you look into, because they have the pKa value also like that. Formation of acetyl, acetylide ion. So here, hydrogen ion can be removed from a terminal alkyne uh, by sodium sodamide or sodium amide, whatever you say. So this is the ammonia. We have, you know, that nitrogen have the lone pair and we have in the presence of this iron catalyst, we can make this kind of sodamide intermediate and um, along with this hydrogen. And finally, we can remove the hydrogen and here the, you know, this one will become and this hydrogen will go here that will make this ammonia. Substitution kind of two reactions. So we can substitute um, here also the substitution and uh, let's see how we can do that. So one of the best methods for the synthesizing substituted alkynes is a nucleophilic attack by the acetylide ion on an um, unhindered uh, alkyl halide. In that case, um, primary alkyl halide uh, lengthen the alkyne chain and alkyl halide work better in a substitution to reaction. We will later discuss about details, okay? Don't worry about it. So here, what is going to happen? Here, the hydrogen will be um, replaced, uh, I mean, substituted by the methyl. And this is the another uh, useful um, chemical reaction to produce the substituted acetylene. So, see here, the another is, is a kind of elimination. Here, the thing is that when, when substitution not appropriate for making, uh, I mean, this kind of uh, reaction is not appropriate for what type of substituted alkyne you want to make that case you can also use the elimination uh, procedure so this is the example of the elimination and this is the I mean, similar kind the thing so the it, the, it will produce this kind of uh, nucleophile attack and finally you can um, get the substitution and the uh, like that as a, as a byproduct. Here, I'll show how to synthesize three de, um, decine from acetylene and any necessary alkyl halide. So here, please look into the uh, reaction. If you just read and look into now, you, you will able to see that it will go fast and then um, it will finally come here. So this is the one and this is the one, two step reaction, it happens. This is the alkoxide ion. You know that um, oxygen is highly electronegative, that's why the, here, the, you know, the heterocyclic cleavage happen and uh, uh, here, we, that's why the oxygen pull the, all the pair of electron, you can see here the extra, and this is the place that you will have the attack and you can get this type of compound. So nucleophile can attack the carbonyl carbon forming an alkoxide ion on protonation will form alkoxide, this type of alkyl. I think you know, and from the aldehyde, from the aldehyde or ketone, you can do further. So first step, remember, if you have it, you, you can stop even here, or if you have a more reagent, if you want to proceed, you can turn aldehyde ketone to alcohol. Addition to an aldehyde. So we can 
also do uh, when we have this type of, uh, and we can add the aldehyde here. How it happens? The product is a secondary alcohol with one R group from the acetylide ion, so this one, and then um, we can add here. So here we go, they will making a bond. And eventually it will be intermediate and eventually we will get the alcohol. And this is the one example. Do you know what time now? What time now? Okay, we have lots of time. We will finish today here. Next, uh, we have solved problem here. Show how you would synthesize the following compound beginning with acetylene and yeah, any question? Uh, yeah, Professor, yes. uh, could you tell us what will be covered in the quiz? Huh? What will be covered in the quiz? Oh yeah, I, I will mention it. Okay. I, I mean, okay, by the way, um, this is, I think, uh, do you guys get any notification from Dr. Down? I don't think so. Yeah, so um, I think uh, I, I will do the same, um, like, so um, you know, quiz, uh, quiz will be our online quiz on Canvas, correct? And last semester, I did the two quiz for the each chapter. Okay. So let me, uh, let me see the, I mean, five question, five question on each quiz. Uh, I, I did, I mean, this is the same format that I got from the Dr. Brown. So I will, that's why I'm telling that I will, uh, during the weekend, I will um, uh, take some time to look into and uh, uh, I will make. And uh, if you review the lecture, that will be um, enough for your quiz. Yeah, I normally don't do too much stuff uh, because you have lots of breakdown of grade. Yeah. Yeah, and also the question sometimes um, I do, sometimes we do the combination, sometimes come from the department, so don't worry about it. And I, I will also give you the, I think last last semester I gave how many? Uh, two attempt or three attempt I gave. So we'll be, I, I will keep the same format, okay? If I don't hear anything new, I will keep the, okay, just a moment. Uh, I, I will again record. So this is the basic, everything we don't need to record. So, uh, are you saying you're gonna have the same quiz as the Brahms? I mean the similar format. I didn't hear anything new. Okay. So similar format, I will write like last semester I did. Okay. So total chapter. So here like this, this uh, week, we are going to finish the alkene and alkyne. So actually alkyne is a small chapter comparatively alkene, but anyway, uh, I will, uh, uh, I mean, I didn't hear anything new uh, from Dr. Brown, so it seems that it will be similar. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, uh, uh, go through the syllabus again, and then I will I will do the same thing. So as far as I remember, I did the uh, two quizzes. It is quizzes five question, um, fifty points I think, uh, fifty or five points, like the same thing because we do the percentage, correct? Okay. So. Uh, each chapter. So, how many chapters we have? I think six or seven, huh? Let's, yeah. So, I will do correct. Um, but I will announce you, okay? And um, you will have enough time, so don't worry. And um, could you actually um, post a lecture as soon as possible? Because, like, we you can, can yeah. You guys can do the homework, correct? I mean, a little bit of a reading? Yeah, lecture recording, because, like, um, we really can't start without it. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that's a good point. So I, I can actually, um, what I can do, I can upload all the chapters, I think. I can upload all the chapters even I already have. So what I have to do, I just need a little bit of edit the um, section points. So that's a good, um, what Christian is requesting to end or to share them. Christ, um, uh, Christian, what do you want to do? Upload, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, it's okay, never mind. So yeah, okay, that's a good thing I, I will ask. Actually, the first semester, 
um, I, I'm taking the four different courses. So it was a little bit of overwhelm also for me. So yeah, that's a nice thing. Uh, and I actually wanted to ask you because um, I am doing the reading also for the other courses. So yeah, if I can upload, um, you guys can read. So it will also helpful for, bo uh, from, for both of uh, us, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, Any anything else? Any more question? Uh, is your office hours still available? Huh? Is your office hours still available? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I have a office hour in person Monday to uh, 1 to 3 p.m. and Thursday 2 to 3 p.m. Okay. So okay. Uh, my room number 304B, but you need uh, the two dot to come to me. So if I, I'm not sure that a student can. I think you can also punch your ID card so that you can come. And if you cannot enter this room, this is kind of room along with the laboratory, the room I assigned. So that's why the room always gets locked. But you can um, come and you can just email me that, Professor, I'm in front of you so I can help you to open. Okay, and, okay thank yeah. you. No problem. You're welcome. Yeah. But uh, just uh, to make sure that this um, office hour for all students, I mean, my all sections, yeah. I mean, all subject, yeah. But we are, I am really welcome. And you guys can also email me if you have any issues like uh, homework or something, you guys can email me also so I can work on that and I can um, uh, publish or announce on the uh, canvas or I can solve, I can give some solution or explanation during the class so that every student can get benefit, correct? Yeah, this is also feel free to email me and just leave me a little bit of time with my earliest convenience, I will reply, yeah. Okay, so I don't know why it's stuck this one. Let's, something is stuck in my presentation slide here. I cannot go. Sorry for that, but see? Anybody know how to remove this? It is stuck my. Oh my. Stop. My, my, my laptop seems to hang now for this. I can do that. It's not exit to allow me to. Just a minute, let's see. How I can do that is stop sharing. Yeah, just a minute. 